Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over how to record a remote guest using the program Zencaster. So this is an online program and it's free to a certain extent and then there's a paid version for more features. So what you're going to want to do first is create an account and keep in mind there's other options out there like Riverside FM, like Zoom, obviously. The problem with Zoom is the audio and video quality are quite poor. Zencaster provides you with separate high quality video and audio. So hop over to your dashboard and you're going to create a new episode. And this new episode is going to be like a podcast studio, virtual studio room for you. And you have three options. You can record audio and video, which means you'll see them, they'll see you, you'll hear them, they'll hear you. And it records. Another option is only audio. They don't see you, you don't see them. It's like a telephone call online. And then there's the third option, which is a hybrid of the two. So you can see them, but it's not recording and just the audio is recording. For today, I'm just gonna do record audio only. And episode name, I'll give this test interview two, and then hit create. Once it loads, you will want to check your mic settings always, always, always. So if this is the day of the podcast, you're going to want to go into your settings and make sure that your audio input is set to your interface or your USB microphone and that your audio output is wherever you want to be able to hear your voice. And if you're using the Samson Q2U like I've recommended in this program, you actually have a mic or sorry, you have a headphone jack on the microphone, which allows you to hear your voice in real time. That's going to allow you to give a better mic performance so you're not screaming in people's ear. Uh, it'll allow you to hear your guest really well, etc. So set your input, set your output. Always double check this before you actually record. And of course, you can set your camera here. Once you're done, you know, a few other settings. Yeah, record in maximum quality, cancel out echoes. That's all good. Hit done. Now you're going to want to invite your guest and let's say they booked today, but you're not interviewing them for a couple weeks. I would still come into here and I would either copy the invite link or put their name and their email address and I would send this to them. Uh, you can put this into a calendar invite, etc. cetera. Uh, this will just help you stay organized and it will create this empty room. And once you want to actually record, all you have to do is come into this room. When they join, you'll see them down here. It'll pass or it won't pass. It'll check their health and see if they pass. And then you can start recording. And that's basically it. There's a few other peripheral features like you can chat to them here. You can raise a hand if they're in the middle of speaking and you want to give them a silent cue and you can mute as well. Once you finish recording, you do have the option of post-production. And in order to show you, I have to go over into another uh, file. But you see this post-production credits here. You can purchase a certain amount of post-production credits. And this is going to make your episode sound uh, clean and, and loud. It'll do some automated processing on it. If you want to do the post-production uh process then what you would do is you'd click this green button produce your podcast if you if you do this then you want to make sure that you have those credits and that you're okay with that it's going to mix everything it's going to level it and yeah so i'm not going to do that yet um, you can go back to your dashboard and see previous rooms and interviews you can archive them and yeah to download like i was just at you want to download both files as mp3s and if you produce your podcast it'll mix them together so if you download these separately you will then have to level them yourself and combine them into a single mp3 and if you hit produce your podcast and you have production credits it will combine them together all right i hope that helped and happy podcasting have a great interview